How's it going guys? Today we got a 2015 Polaris General. We're going to be changing the shifter cable. This is the second time it's broke. And we're going to be replacing the, uh, I think it's the driver's side door handle. And see if we can get her fixed up right. So stay tuned. Alright guys, I'm going to start right here. I got two 19 millimeter nuts. And uh, I'm gonna break them loose, and then right here in the end, there is a little pin you gotta pull out. And like I said, you just loosen these uh, nuts up like this right here. Loosen them up. That should just slide out the top like that. And then take this pin off right here with your fingers. Or a pair of pliers works. Pull that sucker out, and then the cable come off. And that end's disconnected from the from the transmission engine, and uh, I'll come back when I get ready to take it out inside the truck inside there. All right, guys, I went in and popped this open. Normally, you take this whole panel off under there, which this one had been tore open before. Here's what happened to the cable. It got kinked up in there and that it just snapped it. So uh, basically like before, you move your little pin over here, get it out. I'm using a pair of needle nose, got that out. Okay, then you get that 19 millimeter wrench. I got my 19 millimeter wrench. I'm gonna break loose the nut right here and get it in there. And maybe I can. Oh, yeah, it's already loose. So, I felt loose. But whatever. Right? They don't give you much room in here. So, if you got a short, stubby wrench, and probably make it easier, I'm going to loosen that nut just enough for, uh, I can pull this sucker out of here. Alright, now I got it loosened up. It should, yeah, come out just like that. Pop it off the end over here. There's our broke shifter cable. And we're gonna follow it. It goes down through that hole. All these wires are right here. And I should be able to give it a pull. Okay, I'm hung on that heat shield up in there. And uh, go back inside. Sometimes if you got a longer cable, I like to tape the new cable to the old one. But in this situation, I don't think it'll be too bad, maybe. Take it back. Okay, yeah, it was, it was snapped in the plastic in here. Okay. So, all right, so now I give her a pull. There it is. Okay, we got her, got it out. All right, if you look at this cable, one side has got a short side. Yeah, long side. I'm pretty sure the long side goes on the engine part so you can adjust it easier. And this side goes where the gear shifter is at. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this long side right here. And I'm going to put it back through the hole. Try to do this one hand in here. Put that through there. Get it kind of propped up there. And that way you can come around this other side. Okay, I have figured out you snake it up through right here and then just take it and push it down behind all this crap and get it around like that right there. That sucker's, it puts up a good fight. You know, move that down out of the way, get your two 
Nut spread apart there. Put it between there. And then uh I can get this pin back off. I have shift it back that way and put it back on the motor. And you'll take your little clip there, which there is a washer. I got it sitting right here. Washer right here goes on there. And this new cable come with the new bolts in the ends of those, but I didn't want to go through all the trouble changing the uh the peg bolts or whatever. So I didn't bother taking them out because that was going to be more trouble than taking these little clips off. And I've got some new clips. Alright. Plugged on there somehow. There, like that. Now I'm guessing the washer goes on that side. Loosen the jam nut. And let me see here. Okay, this cable has a has a flat sides on it. It is a pain right here. This is a pain in the ass. Okay, just run that nut up, move that washer. Uh, you got to twist the cable, get it twisted. I'm gonna use my wrench. I don't know if I'll be able to do this one handed. Okay, I set the camera down. Get my wrench. I'll just talk you through it. You're gonna twist it with the flat sides line up with the hole. It's gotta be straight. Let it go in there like that. Shove it back all the way. There it goes. And you wouldn't, you know, it popped off the front. Oh, ain't that some cr A slot for this nut to slip in, and that way, uh, sorry I had the camera turn, but that way the back nut doesn't spin once it's put in there, so you pretty much got to have it uh, lined up perfect. Tighten it down like that. Then we'll jump back over here. We'll tighten this side back down how it goes. This side's one of the pain in the ass because uh, it's hard to video and it's hard to get the wrench in there. Now if the whole panel was off, it'd be easy, but it's hard to get them off, but I'll come back once I got that all tightened up. All right, this cover right here just snaps right back on. And then there was uh, one of them old pop pins in this hole right here that I took out. I don't know where the dang thing went. But all righty. So you change your shifter cable in a 2015 Polaris General.